Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, students. How are you? I hope all of you are fine. I'm your teacher, Sita Sami Zera, class 5, subject science. As we know, okay, we were learning about sound. At the end of this uh, uh, chapter, uh, this class, the student will be able to understand about sound, its production and transmission transmission of sound in different mediums the frequency and pitch of sound about the intensity of sound about echo noise and its effects on human health noise pollution and ways to reduce it as we know that sound is produced when something vibrates and the vibration travel to our ears strong vibrations create louder sound if you hit the skin of a drum hard, it will produce strong vibrations and the sound produced will be loud. The opposite happens when you hit it gently. And we also know this, that whatever the sound we are getting, they all are produced in the same way, that is by the vibration of objects. Vibration of the objects is quite visible on the drum. For this, we have done the experiment in our previous class. As we have already discussed that sound needs a medium to travel. Sound cannot travel in vacuum. The speed of sound is depend on the medium means it travels swatches in solid, then medium in liquid, and slowest in gas. And in vacuum, there is no sound. Speed of sound depends on medium and temperature of medium. Type of medium, agar solid hai, तो बहुत ज़्यादा जल्दी ट्रेवल करेगी साउंड लिक्विड है तो थोड़ा सिलो करेगी और अगर गैस है तो और सिलो करेगी और इसी तरह अगर टेम्परेचर हाई है तो ट्रेवल जल्दी करेगी और टेम्परेचर लो है तो स्लो स्पीड होगी उसकी साउंड की साउंड कैन ट्रेवल फास्टेस्ट इन सॉलिड then liquid and then gases. Sound travel through air at about 300 meters per second in air. Sound travels through liquid at about 1500 meters per second. And sound travels through solid at about 2500 meters per second. Sound is a form of energy it comes from vibrating source sound travel in invisible waves sound can travel through solid liquid and gas now we are going to learn that how we hear when an object produces sound its surface vibrates the molecules of air which are in contact with this vibrating surface also begin to vibrate. Molecules of air travels in the form of waves, one wave push pushing the other waves outward. When these vibrating molecules of air in the form of waves reach to our ear, the ear drums also start to vibrate and thus we hear the sound. Sound speeds in all directions from the vibrating object in the form of waves. Sound loses energy as it travels. Thus, a loud sound dies off after traveling for some directions. Now we are going to learn about the pitch and frequency. The sound is measured by the counting the vibrate vibrations made in a second. This is called frequency. It tells us how fast the sound waves. 
is vibrating. Frequency of a sound is measured in a unit called hertz. High frequency produces a high sound and low frequency produces a low sound. And when we are talking about pitch, the pitch is the hardness and lowerness of a sound. It is not countable, but when we are talking about frequency, it is one more thing that we have intensity. Intensity is the sound power per unit area. Intensity is independent of the sensitivity of human ear. Intensity is an objective quantity. If we want to see the difference between frequency and intensity, intensity, so what we have to do, we have we can see these pictures. In first picture, the pitch of a sound depends upon the vibration of sound in one second that is the frequency measured in Hertz and when we are uh, looking at the next uh, figure the amplitude of sound waves de determine the loudness of sound this is intensity By these pictures, you can see the difference easily between frequency and intensity. When we are talking about frequency, greater number of waves in one second show us high frequency and fewer number of waves uh, in one second give us lower frequency. And uh, when we are talking about amplitude or intensity, intensity, the so loudness of sound depends upon its amplitude. No? So, if the amplitude distance is more, then we say that greater is, and if it is less distance, so that is smaller. Sound characteristic: All sounds are not alike. Pitch and loudness make the difference. Pitch is the quality of sound, a tone in a range of tones. Pitch is determined by the frequency of the sound waves produced by its source. Lower frequency sound waves is equal to lower pitch. High frequency sound waves is equal to higher pitch. When things vibrate slowly, they make a low sound. And when things vibrate quickly, they make the high pitch. Loudness or uh, softness depends on our frequency. Pe. Means, if it is waves in one second, mein, to it means that that is soft sound. If it is waves in one it means that this is high frequency. And if it is amplitude and distance, hai, wo hai, it means that uh, intensity is very low and low. Now it's time to learn about echo. The sound which hits a solid object and turns back is called an echo. In an echo, sound waves bounce off a surface and are reflected back towards their sound source. Which kind of matter reflects the sound waves? Not all matter reflects sound waves. Only smooth and hard surfaces reflect sound. Soft and rough surfaces absorb sound. If the sound is unwanted or not bearable or very loud, we call this noise. Noise becomes noise pollution when it gives us problem. When there is a lot of noise in the environment, it is termed as noise pollution. There are so many sources of noise pollution like train, airplane, automobiles, motorcycles, and even environment noise can disturb wild and life, wildlife habits or sleep disruption in humans and animals, hearing loss, heart diseases, and so many, so many diseases we could get because of this noise pollution. Because of noise pollution, people get so many problems. 
like uh, high stress level, high BP, hearing loss, sleeping disturbance, heart cardiac problems, and uh, there are so many harmful effects of noise pollution. To make the no uh, world noise free or pollution free, noise pollution free, we should do planting. We should regular service. We should give the regular services to our automobiles and we should arrange uh, social awareness programs to educate the people to about to tell about the causes and effects of uh, noise pollution and uh, there are a variety of uh, strategies by which we can reduce the noise pollution by use of uh, noise barrier uh, barriers or the limitation of sp uh, vehicle speed or uh, alteration of roadways, uh, surface texture, and uh, limitation of heavy vehicles, use of traffic controls, and uh, we can also use the uh, hybrid electro electric automobiles, hybrid vehicles. They are so quiet. In fact, uh, uh, they are very good to reduce the uh, noise pollution. Thank you, I love this.